Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and today what we're talking about are the pros and cons of kayak fishing. I gotta admit it was hard for me to come up with some cons because it's really fun. Uh, but I thought of a few there just so, just so it'd be a balanced presentation. But um, kayak fishing is just getting more and more popular and there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, it's super fun. It's a way to get out there, get some exercise, get out of the house, see nature, uh, catch a whole bunch of fish too, of course. But what I want to cover today is just some of the pros and cons. If you're in the market to get a uh, fishing kayak or start that, uh, I want to kind of help you along that, that journey there. So let's go ahead and talk about it. All right. Pros and cons of kayak fishing. Let's start with the cons. Um, back aches I have in there. You know, anytime you sit, even if it's at your desk for four or five hours, you know, it's bad on your back. So that's the only reason I added that one there. They actually have come light years in the last few um, years, you know, as far as the, the quality of kayak seats that they have. They usually have lumbar support. They're very, very padded. They're sturdy. So, so they've, they've made these seats basically about as comfortable as you can. A lot of them are adjustable too. You can move them up and down uh, to be higher or lower in your kayak. So, so they, they've, they've come a long way. So, but I wanted to add some cons in there, like I said. Uh, second one, and, and this is an actual con, is when you're out there sight fishing, obviously the higher up you are, the more you can see into the water and see your whatever you're sight fishing for. And because you're, you're basically sitting down, uh, you're not, it's hard for you to sight fish and see these fish a lot of times. Um, you know, that's kind of a, 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 not really much of a con because most of these kayaks now, they're so stable that you can stand up and paddle in them. So then you can see just fine. But again, I was trying to think of some cons here. So that's one. If you're sitting in there and you're at a lower level, it's harder for you to see fish. Uh, and the third con is you're going to get wet. I mean, you just are. So, you know, if you don't want to get wet, don't get a kayak because you're going to get wet. I'm not talking soaking wet like you fall in, but, you know, you have scupper holes in there. You know, water comes in, you know, fish are splashing on. You're going to get wet. So, you know, that that's, that's I guess, a con too. I kind of like it when it's hot out getting getting wet. But anyways, I put that down there as a con. All right, so now let's go ahead and look at these pros. Uh, one of the big ones is they're just so affordable. You know, they're cheaper than a boat. You know, a flats boat might set you back $40,000. You know, these kayaks are basically $1,000 all in. I mean, unless you get to just Mac Daddy, you know, every bell and whistle there is type of thing. But you can get a great high quality, you know, flush, you know, rod holders, all the story, everything you need. Uh, and a paddle and your life vest for under $1,000 if you look around because there's some very quality kayaks out there. Very stable quality, you know, tough, built well. So you can, you can get them for under $1,000. Uh, number two is stealth. I mean, there's not much that's stealthier than a, than a kayak. Uh, maybe a stand-up paddle board, but it's the same principle, right? So you can get in there and you are so quiet, something that uh, a trolling motor can't do. You know, they can still hear the zzzz of a trolling motor, these fish can. You know, they hear a lot better than people think. So stealth is number two by far. You can get right up in there on these fish um, that, that other people can't, that people in boats can't. Um, number, number three and four are kind of the same thing, I guess. You can launch anywhere, which means you can fish anywhere. So you could launch it in the pond in your backyard and fish. You could, you could launch it off the beach and go out and fish in the ocean. You can launch it in the mangroves and go fish these skinny waters that other people can't get to. So, you know, the whole idea to me with a kayak is you go out there and you find fishing places that aren't being pressured very much. So these fish, uh, you know, haven't all been caught or, or they're not, uh, they, they, they don't know what a fisherman looks like yet. You know, that's, that's what I want to find with these these fish that no one else is fishing. So that's a huge advantage for uh, kayaks is being able to launch anywhere, which of course means you can fish anywhere. And this is one of my favorites. You know, I guess I'm kind of earthy crunchy. I, I just love seeing all the birds and the manatees and the dolphins, you know, all these different things around there. So 
even on days where I'm not actually catching as many fish as I want to, it's still a great day. Uh, you know, you can, you can really, because you're so quiet, you can get so much closer to all the amazing wildlife that we have uh, to offer here in Florida. Well, anywhere, but, uh, you know, I'm born and raised here, so I just love it. I just love seeing all the critters that are out there, and, and a kayak really lets you do that. Because, again, it's quiet. You don't have any motor noises to scare these things off. Uh, anyone can do it. Uh, that's another thing. If you can sit and paddle, it's kind of like can you walk and chew gum. If you can sit down and paddle, you can go kayaking. You know, you can go kayak fishing. It's not hard. It really doesn't take any kind of athleticism whatsoever. Uh, I mean, unless you're going to paddle really far. I mean, then you'd need some, uh, you know, aerobic type of conditioning because uh, yeah, you can paddle for miles in these things, but it's not hard. They, again, they've, they've come light years as far as getting these so advanced. Uh, yeah, they, they just, they're, they're really, really good fishing machines that they've created now. Uh, another thing is lots of storage space. Uh, they figured out, like, look, hey, everyone's got a smartphone, and obviously everyone has car keys. They probably drove to wherever they're fishing. So there's tons of dry storage that they have on these things now. You know, where, where you can feel confident that your cell phone's not going to get ruined and your keys be at the bottom of the uh, ocean. So they have tons of storage space that, that, that isn't guaranteed to be fully dry, but it usually is. So you have places for a change of clothes and all kinds of extra things. So they've really thought of it all. Uh, it's gotten so popular that they've really narrowed it down. They've gotten rid of things that they don't need and they got all the things that you do need. Uh, right on these kayaks these days and low maintenance. Yeah, they once you've get it all bought and rigged up the way you like it What is there to maintain? You know, you're done So the bottom line is in the conclusion of course my very very biased conclusion is Kayak fishing is awesome So if you want to get out there and get on the water and see this world of ours Get yourself a kayak. It's worth it. You know, they're, they're inexpensive so just about anyone can afford them. They even have payment plans. You go to like a Bass Pro Shop or something, they'll let you pay it off for six months. So you have a lot of options out there where if you want to go and get started uh, kayak fishing. If you live in an apartment, you don't have enough room to store it or something like that, there's plenty of places that'll rent them for you. And if you just want to go fishing every now and again, well, there's tons of very qualified kayak fishing guides that would be happy to take you out and get you on some fish too. So bottom line is uh, it's pretty fun. You know, I, I kind of have a hard time thinking up those cons, but uh, there are some. So I wanted to be uh, fair, like I said. So uh, I think that's it for today though. Uh, so until next time, um, I guess we'll see you then. You can see more of this information on the website. It's www.fisheryassoff.com. We have a how-to section, a where-to section, a what-to section. Basically, anything you want to know about fishing is going to be on that website. So until, until next time, we'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye.